Israel army conducts strikes in southern Lebanon after a mortar launched from its northern neighbor explodes in the border areas between the two countries. More than 15 artillery shells fired, say reports. 14th of July 2023 to be the launch date for India's moon mission Chandrayaan-3. The launch from the Satish Dhawan Space Center will use a GSLV Mark III heavy lift launch vehicle. A girl has died after a car rammed into a primary school building in southwest London. Eight people, including seven children, were injured in the incident. At least 20 people, including children, have died after a gas leak at a South African slum near Johannesburg, thought to be linked to illegal mining activities. Kremlin expels nine Finnish diplomats, orders shutting of Finland's consulate in St. Petersburg, calls the move a response to confrontational anti-Russian policy being pursued by Helsinki. UK's Conservative Member of Parliament Chris Pincher faces suspension after a parliamentary panel upholds groping allegations against him. Suspension would mean Rishi Sunak may have another local election on his hands. Thousands of protesters block Tel Aviv's main highway and major intersections across Israel in a spontaneous outburst of anger after city's popular police chief quits. At least 29 people are killed in Mexico after a passenger bus plummets into a ravine on Wednesday. An investigation has been launched into the cause of the accident, with early indications suggesting mechanical failure. A magnificent all-round performance by Baz de Lied helps the Netherlands secure a final spot in the 2023 ODI Cricket World Cup after they beat Scotland by four wickets. Three-time Grand Slam winner Stanislas Wawrinka rolls back the years to stun 29th seed Tomasz Echeverry 6-3-4-6-6-4-6-2 and set up a blockbuster third round clash against four-time defending champion Novak Djokovic. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.